Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the other day, after a long day's work, I decided to relax by playing some video games. But to my surprise, none of the games I have booted up, nor did the video editing software. So to troubleshoot, I went into Task Manager to check on my graphics card status. And the Task Manager was like, One GPU. It wasn't listed on the panel. After rebooting the system several times and checking that the graphics card was connected correctly, I looked into the device manager. And hey, it was there, listed clearly. But when I clicked it, it threw out a code. Code 43. Code 43? What the hell is that? And so this was how it began. The journey of how I fixed my RX 580 graphics card from the trouble code 43. Before I start, I just want to add a disclaimer. Just because this fix has worked on my PC, it doesn't mean it will work on yours too. There's a chance you can really hurt yourself and others. So by watching this video, you agree to the condition that any damage you incur to your property, yourself or those around you is solely 100% your fault. Okay, moving on. So I reinstalled the driver and that fixed nothing. So that left only the hardware to diagnose. I took out the RX580 from my PC and looked at it closely. On my initial observation, I found nothing. So I turned to the internet for help and after hours of searching I stumbled across this forum. I left the link in the description below if you're interested. Scrolling down the forum, a post by Reverso interested. He wrote, one of the components seems to be unsolded. The component reference is 10002. He also posted a picture circling the location. I looked at my graphics card and sure enough the component was missing from my PCB. Suddenly it all made sense. About two weeks ago, before the fault occurred, I vacuumed the inside of my PC and I must have accidentally knocked it off. I searched through my PC but I couldn't locate the missing component, it must have got vacuumed up. So I'm left with a question, what is this component and how can I replace it? Further down the forum, Reverso says, after further readings, U1000 is a logical AND gate. Thanks again Reverso. Unfortunately, there isn't much further down the forum that has any information of use. So from what I knew, the U1000 component was a logical AND gate, which has five pins coming out of it. So I turned to the internet again and searched through it. I came across this item listed on Amazon. It looked about the right size and shape. I couldn't be 100% sure, but I decided to take the risk and purchase the item. Now for the difficult part. Just look at how small it is when I put it against a one pound coin. I have to solder this tiny thing on. Here goes. It took me an hour, but I got there in the end. Now let's see if it works. Yippee! And it's working just fine. Hey, if you found this video helpful, why don't you subscribe to my channel. While you're at it, hit the bell icon, give us a thumbs up, and share this video with your friends. 